They were all members of the same family. That must have been a rather unique family. It was the family of Zacharias. In Luke 1.15, when the angel appeared to Zacharias and told him that he was to become the father of John the Baptist, the angel said about John the Baptist, he shall be filled with the Holy Spirit even from his mother's womb. Can a little baby be filled with the Holy Spirit? Definitely yes. There's no question about that. I think I know some babies that definitely are filled with the Holy Spirit. Not all babies. But God has a special purpose in the lives of some, and that purpose comes into operation sometimes from the very day they're born. Then in Luke 1, verses 41 and 42, we read how Elizabeth, who was pregnant with John the Baptist, went to greet her cousin, the Virgin Mary, who was to become the mother of Jesus, and when she heard the salutation of the Virgin Mary, the unborn baby in her womb leaped for joy, six months old. And let the judges and the sociologists say what they will, but the Bible teaches very clearly that an unborn baby has personality and is a, is a real soul. And in my personal opinion, to destroy the life of an unborn baby is murder. And I've happened to know from experience that's exactly how God categorizes it. I've prayed with many women who needed to be delivered from the spirit of murder. And whenever I hear that spirit declare itself, I just say to them, did you ever procure an abortion? And almost invariably, the answer is yes. All right, Elizabeth, when she heard the salutation of the virgin and the babe leaped in her womb, it says she was filled with the Holy Spirit and spake out, that blessed art thou and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And then in Luke 1, 67, at the time when John the Baptist's name was given to him as an infant and his father took the tablet and wrote, his name is John, <laughs> not his name is going to be John, but his name is John. His mouth was opened and he spoke and praised God and then it says, Zacharias was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied. So there's three members of that family that were filled at one time or another with the Holy Spirit. Zacharias, Elizabeth, and their only son, John. 